Hey you guys, I'm TJ Herman. Thanks for joining me for this edition of my Week 11 Picks for the 2016-2017 NFL season. Before I recap Week 10, I do want to say uh, congratulations to Donald Trump. I'm not in favor of, but like I had to deal with George W. Bush as president, I'm going to have to deal with this guy who I guess America wanted to choose because they just couldn't deal with Hillary Clinton. I'm okay with that for now. Week 10 games was crazy. Teams who I wanted to win lost and teams who I wanted to lose won. It was just a crazy, it was a lot of upsets including my Eagles who I told you to take over the Falcons but some of y'all didn't believe me and hey, you got that out of me. Here's the spread, I went 6 and 8, not too shabby, I can take that and straight up I went 7 and 7 so I'm okay with that, I'm still even at 500, both against the spread over 500 and straight up I'm still over 500 on the year. Let's get with my week 11 against the spread. The first game is going to be in Detroit where the Jacksonville Jaguars are traveling to face the Detroit Lions. Lions are six point favorites in this game. I'm going to tell you to take the Lions minus six. Why? Jacksonville is horrible. I picked them last week to upset the Texans. It did not happen. So I have no confidence in Blake Boyles. I have no confidence in that coach of Gus Bradley. They fired the offensive coach two weeks ago. And they need to fire this Bradley ASAP or by the end of the season. I see it coming. So take Detroit minus six. My second against the spread is the game between the Miami Dolphins at the Los Angeles Rams. The Dolphins stayed on the West Coast after beating the Chargers on Sunday. Whew. Unbelievable, can you? And I had the Chargers winning that game and not too good for me. The Dolphins are a pick em team this week and only reason why I'm picking the Dolphins because I think Tannehill, he's stepping up to be the quarterback that the Dolphins had been expecting all this long. Not last season, but now. He is a good quarterback. And for the Rivers, he blew it again like he did against the Saints. And now he's doing it again against Miami. But, of course, Miami stay on the West Coast. So that's why they're playing in Los Angeles. Meanwhile, the LA Rams are going to be bringing out their rookie quarterback, Jared Goff. It's about time. He should have been right there with Carson Wentz, started with the Eagles this season. Why Case Keenum first three wins and then straight up losses after that? I don't know. Um, Jeff Fisher says uh, uh, Vince Young, he messed up his career. So he, he, I guess he feels that rookie quarterbacks is not for him. So if they're not for you, why the hell did you even uh, draft them and you didn't even play them? That's why I really feel that the Dolphins are going to pick apart this golf. Even with Todd Gurley in the lineup, it's, I just don't see it happening. Maybe in the next week or two, but not the first game of the season, even though they haven't seen golf play, you know, this past season or whatever. So this could be a game the Dolphins will win. So pick them, Miami in Los Angeles. My third against the spread is between the Philadelphia Eagles, my Philadelphia Eagles, at Century Link Field to face the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks are favored in this game, but let me tell you, what the Eagles did last week on defense, they shut down Julio Jones and shut down Devontae Freeman. Can they do it with Thomas Rawls, who is now back as the running back as they release Christian Michael today? Do I see um, a Marshawn Lynch and Thomas Rawls? Maybe. But I think the Eagles can do it. Offensively, the Philadelphia Eagles are 17th in the league and the Seahawks have the 20th best offense in the league. In defense, you can say the Eagles is number six and they're number nine as in the Seahawks, but the passing game is better for the Seahawks compared to the Eagles who are 26th in the lead and Seattle is 11th overall, but they're rushing Defense is horrible. The Seattle Seahawks have no rushing defense, but the Eagles' rushing defense is spectacular. Eighth in the league to next to last in 
the league for the Seahawks. Russell Wilson, he's doing better than what he did the first two games of the season, and it's starting to come up. That lousy loss against the Rams, <laughs> three points, or was it six points? But anyway, Wilson's back. He's got a brace on his knee, not taking off any tape or anything, so he's going to be a motor quarterback, and the Eagles have to look out for that. And also, Eagles got to look out for that secondary, who will get you every time. Richard Sherman, you better not play dirty with my team because they could play dirty back on yours. I'm not trying to start nothing, but you should have been penalized for that hit you put on that quarter. I mean, that um, kicker last week, and the NFL says it wasn't a hit at all. Whatever. No unnecessary roughness call, whatever. So, he is going to look out for the secondary on that team. Cam Chancellor, as well as Earl Thomas, man. They are a booming defensive team. But the Eagles have defense of their own. Benny Logan came back. And you also got Fletcher Cox and Connor Barwin. And we miss, we miss Lane Johnson offense. But I think the Eagles offense is coming strong. This may be a high scoring game. Maybe not. I'm going to tell you to take the Eagles plus six in this game because they have not beaten the Seahawks since 2008. So this is a chance at a Long drop. So I'm going to tell you to take the Eagles plus six on the road. My last against the spread is the Monday night game, the Houston Texans at the Oakland Raiders. Believe it or not, the Raiders are five point favorites in this game. I'm going to tell you to pick them. Why? The Raiders are a powerful team at home. Derek Carr, close to being MVP. Now I don't think maybe not this year, but maybe in the years to come. Uh, Crabtree, formerly from the 49ers, is just having a great breakout season. And don't forget, um, who's that other bull? Oh, my goodness, I forgot. The other wide receiver, Amari Cooper. That's another guy you have to look out for if you are the Texans. Uh, I think the Texans don't have what it takes to beat this Raider team, so enough said on that. Tater, LA Raiders, Oakland Raiders, <laughs> minus five on Monday Night Football. Now, here are the rest of my picks for this week. Okay, you guys, that wraps it up for week 11 for my straight up picks and against the spread. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me here on my YouTube page as well as my Twitter at overrated underscore rel. Also, you can check out my other YouTube prognosticators. Their links is down below at the bottom of this page. They do just as well as I do, maybe even better, and they can go in depth with you on their picks each and every week. So check out the links right down below. Oh, guys, my birthday is on Friday, so wish me a happy birthday the day before or even the day of my birthday. And I appreciate y'all coming out for week 11 this week. I'll see y'all right back here next week for week 12 as my Eagles will do the Seahawks in. Let's hope so, but until then, <laughs> I'll see y'all.